The more things change, the more they stay the same, so they say, right? Well, for the UGA turf team in Tifton, that is absolutely not the case. Something new two years ago is now old technology. In fact, at this exact moment, they're developing a new hybrid of grass that requires less mowing. Yes, yeah, sign me up, right? And with partnerships like the one they have with Superside and Fort Valley, the technology will only get better with time. You know, it's, it's a pretty good time to be in the turf industry. Uh, you know, new home sales are picking up a little bit. They're still off of their peak in 2006, and our business is directly tied to home sales. Um, putting in grass in new homes is the biggest portion of our market. Um, but it, overall, it's a pretty good time to be in the, in the turf business. You know, wet years like this one have their challenges just like dry years do. So my favorite part of the job is actually new hybrids and we try to make about five or 10,000 new hybrids every year. And through years and years of testing, working with uh, homeowners, working with sod farmers, we take that from five or 10,000 down to one over a period of uh, you know, 10, 20 years. So, but my favorite part is the unknown. Every year, those 5,000 plants could be the next superstar. And that's my favorite part, but it's also great to see a partnership with say the industry here today at Super Sod. You know, we worked on it for 22 years in Tifton and they've taken it in the last several years and have taken it from, you know, a 10 square foot plot in Tifton to thousands and thousands of acres uh, out here in the real world. So that's fun also. We really tried to change the face of the industry. Um, for a long time, our number one sale uh, turf type was, was 419 Tiff Way Bermuda. It was developed in Tifton in, in 1960 is when it was released and there's not much you use in your daily life that's still from 1960. Pickup trucks didn't have air conditioning in 1960 for, for to give you a little reference point. So um, we're really now in this, this stage where we're accelerating, um, looking at new turf grasses got a lot of new things to offer that we haven't just five years ago. Tiff Tuff being primarily the one, a, a grass that's bred specifically to use less water, has tons of other benefits as well. But you know, it's really time to, to look. The industry's changed so much and our products have changed so much. It's time, you've got an old lawn, it's time to think about something different. To step back, if you asked on a national scale what the most important trait is, it would be drought tolerance. But it's not always dry. and. Ben and his family have worked with the Tifton program for, for decades and a couple years ago he actually stopped in and was looking at new zoysia grass crosses and there was one in particular that he and I went to and it was very low growing and kind of through research in the last couple years we're noticing it needs to be mowed less so that's a whole different avenue with a different species but it's also one that I think would interest homeowners as the reduction of mowing. Um, so a lot of research yet to do on that one. You know, it took 22 years to develop Tiff Tough. We hope it doesn't take 22 years for this, this new one, but um, whether it's disease tolerance, drought tolerance, low mowing, those are all ideas we're trying to follow up on there at the Tifton Research Station. <laughs> 